So could you just introduce your name and your badge? Mayank. Okay, yes, Mank. And uh, yes. Why don't you be the paparazzi? Can you be the photographer? Yes, man. Uh, what are the expectations from today's session and how did you find the session? And just tell your name and uh, your, your, your batch here. So I'm Mayan uh, from HR, second year. And which place did you know? Uh, we are from Delhi. So this session was completely different from what I expected because we, we keep on having these placement sessions, pre-placement talks and we were kind of expecting a similar kind of a thing where the person will come and talk about the company. This was, this was kind of a break from that and it being a holiday so kind of fits well and uh, it was a break from all those routine kind of activities and through this session we actually got, a, got an opportunity to you know take a back seat and just see what, what all we have done. So there's a couple of things that you talked about that uh, looking for a career is not a job. That is one thing that really, uh, really I connected with. And so during the two years that the students spent together, we keep on doing these assignments, keep on doing presentations and we are always looking for a job, we are always looking at the end result. And I think this is a session which told us that to take a break, think about what is there out in your life. Think about your goals, not just keep on uh, you know, following the urge. So that is one particular that I have from this session. Any questions you have for me? Anything related to your career, related to the do's and do's? Anything that you always want to ask somebody who is going to do it? Still in the process of giving out what kind of uh, sector that I would you know, okay. be consulting in the agency. Those are the things that I am going to explore. Okay. I guess you could help me in that. Okay, okay. Uh, what are your four companies to do? What are your four companies? I belong to HR. So I am looking for a job in HR, but still in the future. I mean, what are the, what are the things that uh, maybe you can find things I am going to require? Okay. And uh, also, I see that. Uh, also be, it takes some of the people who take on consulting job, they, they mm -hmm. actually move from consulting to other line of I mean, uh, what is the reason for that? And plus, there are a lot of different professions that you want to choose to go to the end of the week. Thank you so much, man. Uh, <coughs> I'll brief in two minutes. Right? Uh, what is HR? Uh, with a few of my interactions with my friends in HR, HR works in four verticals talent acquisition, talent management, talent alignment, and talent evaluation. When we talk talent acquisition, we're talking about not recruitment, we talk to HR, human resources accounting, then forward and all that. Right? Talent management, where we talk about competency. People come with 40%, how can you explain it to 80%? Or if they come with 80%, 120 percent is utilized. What happens to the other person is under uh, unutilized? Talent management. Talent uh, alignment. You're hiring software player, you're telling him to play cricket. Okay, you are taking program, you are doing the test. So you need to have a right treatment program for the people that you hire. That they, the right fit becomes a list fit. And talent evaluation where you have the prizes, the bell curve and all. Right? But today HR is not about arranging the party. It is beyond that. Not in the plan of holidays. HR plays a very important role in the strategic board and vision making process. Right? How HR can be accountable? How HR can be visible, not only on the balance sheet. <coughs> the visible admin in HR, what I understand, if the floor is people, they put a placard and they say that, you know, to be careful about it. So, admin work is visible. Facilities work is visible. But how HR today, in three levels, it can work. One, HR business partnership. Okay? So let's say, it, second is the HR journalist and work the HR specialist. So, you cannot have my real skill and try to be HR journalist. That is what people try to do. Become HR journalist and then try to get into various you know, niche uh, specialization. Your focus should be special. If you are hardcore recruitment specialist, you need to be into recruitment. Right? If you want to get into HR business partnership, you need to understand business. See, some of the HR also has to, you know, scale up themselves. Right? So, uh, uh, interesting in HR today is OD intervention, where you can get into, you know, uh, line and staff HR. The staff, staff managers, the staff HRs are basically old task forces. You don't want to change. They will change you. But line HR are people who really bring those paradigm changes. Uh, so the best practices which are being followed in, in the facility, I would say a uh, few some things like risk card and the best HR practice. But then people say, oh, it's an okay interest, I should not do. That should not be the focus. Manufacturing, I should not do. See, when you have exposure to multiple companies, let's say my professor Randan Dadi, the dean of Ancaster, used to say that Suraj, if you 
involved in the organization beyond six months, I said, here's some problem with the organization has some problem. He was not talking from a Christian perspective, he was talking from you as an expert, as a consultant. Right? You need to keep on exploring your niche. Right? So, uh, and if you're not passionate about HR, don't take HR. You screw up your career, you screw up the career from you. Because mostly HR ops, operation people, they deal with emails from you. They deal with employee associated as their employee code. That is where you need to look beyond. And there are amazing HR professionals that you have to interact with. Right? So it's a vast field, but I would say recruitment is the peak of the iceberg. Today, HR also needs to be a marketing guru. Because you are the brand ambassador, you go for campus. Here. So it's a huge ocean. You have to find out which call you want. Thanks for that. Thanks for that.
the market. That can help you to do deep working. But uh, then you should be an HR practitioner, not an HR talker, right? Because uh, I, I mean, next time when I come, I'll uh, take you through um, the project that we talked with Simon and the Google director. I was talking about a while back. And I got to learn a lot of things. Like he said, that you you know, uh, you know, <coughs> training goes hand in hand. Like entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship goes hand in hand. Training goes hand in hand with HR, right? Uh, but if you see, uh, you know, if any good HR practice should be beyond the table. If you cannot bring it to the factory, to the grassroots level, uh, level okay, it's only because of blah blah blah. Today you know. talk to anybody. When the HR comes and says, you know, I lost your name, Puneet. Uh, even if you are comfortable talking to you and opening up just like a friend, okay, uh, now they have seen a lot of HR friends, they go and do a floor walk, okay, they go and say, how, how are you feeling, right? So before they say KYC, know your customer, you should know your KYC, know your body. Right? Can exit interview can be an area to explore where we counsel and coach the employees, helping them to leave the organization and get them to the right office and right team. You may say, so you have gone crazy. You are sabotaging the own interest of your company. But you do so because there is a longer win win situation where you don't burn the bridges. You will come back to you. Hewlett Packard is one of the organizations where they have the best venture capital. So I'm not here promoting any company. I'm talking about the practices, the next practice they are following. My second time, when you go, they offer you tea in a big cup. Okay, when you have a birthday, you know, the car is given. They treat employees like, you know, or honeywell, the way they treat employees. Right? So, amazing organization, we are thinking about it. That's the biggest challenge. The next challenge is how to retain talent. How to retain talent. Because everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Right? That is a big challenge for us. Very big challenge. And as long as bright people like mine, new energy coming. You know, you need to rebound and your audience. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, wish you all the best, right? Yeah, hi. Um, I have a question with VPN. So, that's going to be good for you, right? No, I Thank you very much. Thanks for being here.